So many are frustrated and confused. No doubt this will be a difficult season for businesses forced to close their doors for a second time. And some industries are speaking out tonight. They say they have been following the rules diligently and the risk of exposure to COVID is so low they shouldn't be forced to close. Disappointment on the slopes, while other outdoor activities like skating and tobogganing are still permitted. Skiing and snowboarding have been singled out under the new lockdown rules. It was a gut punch. Uh, we were taken by surprise. After months of planning and just days after opening for the season, ski hills are forced to close during the most profitable time of the year. It's heartbreaking for people who love the sport. Um, we have many locals who, who ski almost every day. The president of Blue Mountain Resort says his team fully adapted their winter operations to follow public health guidelines both indoors and outdoors. This year, Blue Mountain is going to look and feel a little bit different. By limiting capacity, limiting lift loading, requiring social distancing and masking at all times, and adding outdoor patio spaces. So we went into the winter with a really high degree of confidence that we were following the best practices in the, in the industry and, and that we'd have a successful season. The economic impact will be devastating. Ski resorts earn all their revenue in just four months, with the Christmas period typically bringing in a third of their profits. There are also large employers in small communities. Many local businesses rely on ski resorts, and at Blue Mountain, they provide work for more than a 1,000 seasonal employees. It's exhausting. I've gone through all five stages of grief. I'm, I'm at acceptance. Another industry is speaking out against lockdown rules. We were sad and shocked and we couldn't understand why we would be closed. The owners of Trichology Boutique, a hair salon in Toronto, say their infection control measures have gone above and beyond even the required provincial protocols. Even down to when we take a client's jacket, we wrap it in a fresh dry cleaning bag to be hung so nothing touches anything. Everything is sprayed down with medicinal grade sanitization disinfectant and but we can go shopping where they just like spray the handles of a shopping cart. They are frustrated and disappointed to see the large crowds and lineups at big box stores where they say the same safety protocols aren't being followed. It's shocking. It's it's, it's heartbreaking horrible. really. We have maximum 10 people in our almost 1400 square foot salon. They want proof that their industry is a source of spread. Otherwise, they want the province to allow them to reopen. The pair started a campaign called Show Your Stats TO. And as of last week, 176 salons shared their numbers. Among them, there were 968 staff members and more than 278,000 appointments with no COVID cases. Salons are a safe space and like they're not like the proof is in the numbers. We haven't had a chance to ask the Ford government specifically about hair salons or ski hills in this round of lockdowns, but in the past, Ontario's health officials have said that anywhere crowds congregate can present a risk. Now, as for what people can expect in the second round of lockdowns, well, in regions that were already in lockdown, like Toronto, Peel, Hamilton and York, not much will be different. But regions outside of that will now have their non-essential businesses closed. That includes personal care services and restaurants and bars that will be only open to take out and delivery.